Hello, James here, and it's been a while since I've made a video, and that is because of the pandemic. So basically, there was nowhere that I could drive, and if I couldn't drive, there wasn't any point in making any videos, especially since not only was Scotland locked down for a while, but uh, our borough here in West Lothian was locked down also. So what have I been doing? I have been baking bread. I've been getting pretty good at doing that and also been doing a lot of gardening so i've basically created a raised bed garden and growing my own vegetables so you know if there's another apocalypse happening then uh, i'm quite sustainable here in my own house one thing that i am really proud of and something that uh, is a long time life achievement for me which i did last year was to grow a beard and this beard took me nine months to grow and i was quite proud of it it was a little bit wispy and uh, as you can see i've got different stages of shaving bits off so i could see what i look like with things like a handlebar mustache etc so you guys let me know in the comments below which one you guys like so we're not here to talk about me and we're here to talk about the Nissan Leaf and the state of health of the battery and the one we're talking about is the Leaf uh, 2018 40 kilowatt hour, the green one that I had in 2018 and that one ha is basically with my parents and I couldn't get there last year for an update in August so now we're on the third year of August I've decided to get a reading from Leaf Spy and basically see what the difference is. So we have here a reading from 2019 on Leaf Spy and uh, 2021. So there's a two year gap difference now. So the state of health back then was 94.21% compared to 92.6 now. So that's only a 1.6% loss. So it's not as bad as we originally thought with the original video that I made um, back in 2019. Uh, the car's done an extra 11,000 miles. There's also quite a few quick charges because my parents' um, home charge is a little bit flaky, especially like if there's a long, hot day, it tends to like cut out. I think it just overheats. So they tend to go into the rapid charge to charge up the car and they tend to charge from 30% to 80%. So we look at the battery state of health here um, over the last three years, it's kind of like uh, leveling off a little bit. I mean, 1.61% loss over two years is pretty nominal. And you can see that it's looking very healthy. Hopefully that will keep itself going and leveling itself off a bit more. Uh, over the next couple of years, so you know, maybe next year we'll find out if the battery is going to tank again or if this sort of like stabilization is going to carry on. But overall, the, it doesn't look like the battery will need replacing or it will get need thrown out and chucked into some landfill. Unlike the 12 volt battery that was on the Celica GT4, that had to be jump started twice by the Nissan Leaf and um yeah it's just basically they, my parents re rarely drive the the fossil car now just because they're so used to driving the, the leaf and it's just so much more economical for them so overall the battery is looking great so you guys let me know in the comments below what you you think so what's happening in 2021 for this channel well hopefully i'll be getting a new ev in a couple of months and then i can review that car and go into a bit more detail about it. Uh, just basically a long-term uh, review of that vehicle. But until then, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you like it, please hit the like and subscribe button. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.